Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Brother Joel Roberts. And today I want to share a valuable information with you guys. And I want you to take this to heart because this is a word that we need in time like these, you know. We all know that we live in perilous times. We need to love each other more. We need to be more compassionate. We need to seek the face of the Lord more. There is more room at the cross, at, this, at the cross of Jesus Christ. This is just a symbol, but it's not the cross of Jesus Christ at all. It's just a symbol, something that I use my creativity to, to just demonstrate to you guys. But there is always room at the cross of Jesus Christ. So we need to understand and know that Christ, is, he died like this. He died with the hands wide open. It means that he died for all those that believe in him. He died not just for one race or one, you know, group of people. You know, he died for for the sins of the world. I mean, all those that believe in him. He, That's why he died with, with our open arms to accept all those that believe in him. No matter who you are, if you make that decision today, you make that decision and you are dedicated and you are diligent because this is not an easy walk. I'm not going to lie. Nobody, it's, it's a tough walk. To be a Christian is not easy. You know, you got to be set apart. You got to be different from the world. You can't talk like the world. You can't act like the world. You can't maneuver like the world. The world. So having said that, let's, so our discussion is going to be about reach out for the hands of Christ today. Do you really know the Savior of humanity? Do you really know Christ? Do you really know the Lord? Is he talking to you today? Are you listening? Are you paying attention to his voice? Are you paying attention to God's voice? So once, many years ago, when I was going through a dark period, I pray and pray, but the heaven seems to be shut. I felt as though God had disappeared and I was alone with my tribe and burden and burden. It was a dark night for my soul. It was a dark night for my soul. I wrote my mother about the experience and will never forget her reply. She says, son, there are many times when God withdraw his hands. It may seem that he's far away, but he is closer than your next breath. And during those times, the trial times, he is actually pruning us. He is developing us so that our faith can be tested in the, in the fire. And it will come as, a, as pure as gold, solid, strong, fervent. So he, he have to test our faith on the fire. Is your faith on the fire today? Look up to the hills. Look up to Christ. He is the one that you need to focus on. Not your storms, not your problems, not, not anything. But focus on Christ because he loves you. He loves you diligently. He, and he, he, have, he have his hand wide open like this. He want to help you. He reaching out to you, but are you going to accept him? Are you going to admit the fact that, hey, I am a sinner. I am in need of a Savior. And believe that he died and he rose from the dead on the third day. And fully commit your life to him. And confess, confessing your sins and committing your life to serve him. Because whatever you prioritize over God, that thing is an idol in your life and that thing is your God. So Christ is reaching out to you. He's reaching out to me. He want to save the world. He want to save as many people that, that are waiting to be saved. But that's why he gave us the free will. He's not going to forcefully save you. You got to be willing and you got to want it for yourself. Because spirituality is, is different from being it's, it's different from religion. 
religion, you have to go through all these rituals and all these stuff, you know. But spirituality is, is a deep, intimate connection day by day as you grow in his word, as you grow in understanding, as you grow in wisdom, as you grow in courage, as you grow in love. Because if a man claims to love God and he hates his brother, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. So how can you love God and don't love your fellow man? I don't believe that. So let, let's read a few scriptures about the, the changeless Christ. And I'm reading from uh, the NASB Bible, the New Testament, American Standard Ver Version. So we're going to read Hebrews chapter 13. I'll read verse 1 down to 14. Let love of the brethren continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. For by this some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember the prisoners as though in prison with them. And those who are ill-treated since you yourselves also are in the body. Marriage is to be held in honor among all. And the marriage bed is to be on the fire. For, fornica for, for fornicators and adulterers, God would judge. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money. Being content with what you have. For he himself has said, I would never desert you, nor would I ever forsake you. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Remember those who led you, who spoke the word of God to you, and considering the result of their conduct, imitate their fate. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be carried away by varied and, varied and strange teachings or by doctrines of demons. Do not be carried away by strange teachings or doctrines of demons. For it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by foods. F-O-D-S. Not by foods. Through which those who were so occupied were not benefited. Verse 10. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. For the body of, of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy place by the high priest as an offering for sin are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people through his own blood, suffer outside the gates. So let us go out to him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For yeah, we do not have a lasting city. But we are seeking the city which is to come. We are seeking the city which is to come. The kingdom of God is near. We live in the last days. We need to ask God for the grace every day, man, because there are so many distractions out here. I'm talking to you today, and to be honest, I'm not a perfect man. I'm not a perfect man. God is not looking for perfect people. He's looking for waiting minds. He's looking for waiting hearts. He's looking for those who will be bold and courageous. Bold as a lion, fearless, and wise as a doe. Wise as a serpent. Bold as a lion. And harmless, and harmless as a doe. God, God is looking for those that, that won't be afraid of losing anything that society, you know, might take away from you for speaking the truth and being honest and telling people about Christ and going out there like the great commission said that we should go out there and make disciples of all nations that's that's our job as Christians talk to people about Christ because if you are ashamed of, of God before men he will be ashamed of you before his heavenly father. You know. And be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, so he shall reap also. So we need to know that, hey, God is, God is not joking. He's not playing. 
you know, I put these two animals here because God identified himself, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And those that wait upon the Lord, shall, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagle. They shall run and not faint. You see this? There's the eagle right here. And there's the lion. Lion. Lion is the king of the jungle. And eagle is the king of the air. So he identified himself, both the lion and the eagle. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The eagle. You know. Eagle is a very powerful bird, and the lion, too, is a very powerful animal. The lion is respected in the jungle. So he wants to have, he want us to roll. He wants us to roll. He wants us to roll his truth in this world that is, that is so lost, man. People out there need to be saved. You know, don't just think about yourself, but think about your brethren. Think about your, your you know, your, your, your fellow brothers and sisters that are lost and Go in the scrape. Go out there and help them. It's, I'd rather offend you with the truth and lead you to the kingdom of God than to comfort you with a pretty lie and lead you straight to the, to the pit of hell. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Keep on praying. And I'm out. Peace and many blessings. Amen. Mm -hmm.